Oh, Fish, you're home. I know, but... Uh, you must be exhausted. That's what comes from being a private investigator. <laughs> Where were you all this time? You sound like the wife of the man I've been tailing. You mean that he actually stays out all night? He saw three different women. I don't know how he does it. I'm exhausted and I'm just following him. The kids are inside having breakfast. You want to join them? You must be kidding. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. Hi, Mr. Fish. Hello. Hey, Mr. Fish. Morning. We hear you got some private eye work. Yeah. Are you gonna get a dirty raincoat? <laughs> private eye, huh? Must be fascinating. Only if you have a pair of binoculars. <laughs> Come on, let's get to school. Hey, wait a second. We ain't cleared the dishes up yet. It ain't our fault. We wasted all that time talking to Mr. Fish. You all go on ahead. I'll take care of it. All okay. right. Oh, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Aren't you coming to school? Well, I got a late class, then. Besides, I want to talk to Mrs. Fish. Hey, thanks, Julie. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Jelly. You're welcome. How's everything? Oh, fine. That's good. Mrs. Fish, I was wondering if I could have a little talk with you. Oh, of course, Jelly. What about? The population explosion. Lately, I've been worrying about it a lot. Uh-huh. I mean, if we keep on having so many babies and all, there won't be no more room left on the planet. No kidding. They say the world population is going to double in the next 25 years. And I want to do something about it. Like what? Like I want to make sure I don't double. <laughs> Would you take me to the doctor so I can get a prescription? A prescription? You mean... Uh, you mean for the... Uh... Yeah. Oh. My mother wasn't on it. She used something called... Uh, rhythm. <laughs> That's why I'm here today. Well, Jelly, uh, I don't think that everyone can take the pill. Oh, I know that. I'd only get them if the doctor said it was okay. May I ask you something very personal? Sure, I'll tell you anything. Is there some special boy you're seeing who's, uh, who's... Oh, no. Oh, good. I'm seeing five or six of them. Five or six? Mm-hmm. But my mother always told me, she said, love is funny. You never know when that certain someone will walk around the corner. And bingo. There goes a zero population. Mm. Jelly, I'll, uh, I'll have to think it over. I could get them on my own, but I'm a very straightforward person. So I wanted to talk it over with you first. Thank you very much. You don't have to worry, Mrs. Fish. I consider myself to be a person with a sense of responsibility and maturity, and good judgment. 
I mean, I'm going to be 16 this week. I ain't no kid no more. You let me think it over, okay? Okay. And thanks for the talk. Don't mention it. To anybody. <laughs> You're up already. It's only 12.30. I can't sleep in the daytime. I'm not a bat. <laughs> Are you ready for lunch? How can I have lunch? I haven't eaten my breakfast yet. I'll fix you something. And as long as you can't sleep anyway, I uh, want to talk to you about Jilly. Oh? What about Jilly? Well... I think I know what we can get her for her birthday. What? She wants to get examined by a doctor. Oh, I was thinking of doing the same thing. Maybe we can go together. <laughs> Hers is a different kind of doctor. Is there something wrong with her? No. She still wants to be examined. Oh, good. I approve of preventive medicine. Well, you're on the right track. What are you talking about? Jelly wants the pill. What kind of pill? The kind you take when you don't want to have a family. She wants a sleeping pill. <laughs> Yes. The pill. The pill? Till he wants to. You tell me something like that now, when you know I already have insomnia? Yes. It's ridiculous. She's just a child. Well, she's... She's gonna be 16 this week. Well, what does she need the pill for? Let her get a hobby. <laughs> Who's the boy bitch? I want to know who the boy is. Well, there is no special one. Um, this is a... Just in case. Just in case? I think she's trying to be responsible. That's responsible. A girl in the 10th grade? All she should be thinking of is getting into the 11th grade. <laughs> She says she doesn't want to contribute to the population explosion. Then she shouldn't be playing with dynamite. <laughs> Fish, if I don't take her to the doctor, keep the whole thing out in the open, she'll think we don't respect her ability to make a judgment. My answer is no. There'll be no pill popping in this house. <laughs> and that's fine. Mrs. Fish. Oh, hello, Jim. Well, did you uh, think over, uh, you know, what we were talking about? Yes, I did. And? 
and uh, I'm going to try to get you a doctor's appointment. Terrific! Oh, I didn't mean to rush you, Mrs. Fish. But since we talked about it, there's already been 380,000 babies born. <laughs> I meet this chick, right? Yeah. She tells me I'm a great linebacker. Yeah. And I says, you got a sister for my brother? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Was she blind? Hey. Bruce. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Fish, we didn't know you was taking a nap. Yeah. Yeah, we were hoping to catch you in a good mood. It might not be till next year. <laughs> well, since you're up, can we talk to you about something? Oh, you have no mercy. <laughs> Mr. Fish, it's important. It's about Jilly. Oh, God. What about her? Who was it? Take it easy. <laughs> Listen, we just want to make her a sweet 16 party. Oh. Sweet 16 party? Oh, sweet 16 and never been kissed. <laughs> nice. Mr. Fish, did you say nice? That's what I said. Mr. Fish, you realize that there's going to be a lot of kids there. Boys and girls, together. Like me and my chick. <laughs> And we know that basically you don't approve of the mingling of the sexes, as it's practiced in the 20th century. I don't understand you children. You think I never been to parties when I was a kid? You mean, when you were a kid, you had fun? Of course. Well, what turned you off? I still have fun. It's just that I don't enjoy it much. Mr. Fish, and it's okay to have the party? Why not? It'd be a nice opportunity to meet some of Jilly's boyfriends. Well, they'll probably be dancing, you know. Dancing is nice. You're awake, ain't you? Yeah, of course. Here. Here. Here's ten bucks. Make her a party. <laughs> Mr. Fish, ten bucks? The country's in the middle of an inflation. All right, all right, here, here, here's another ten bucks. But don't do anything crazy with it. Don't worry, Mr. Fish. With twenty bucks, you could do something a little silly. Crazy gets expensive. <laughs> Listen, man, I got dates. So I gotta get dressed. Well, hey, uh, uh, what's the face? Uh, uh, hi, Joey. Oh. Oh, hiya, Diane. Hey, what you got in the package? Oh, this is just something Mrs. Fish got me from the drugstore. Hey, is that your birthday present? Not quite. Then what? Okay, Diane. These are them. <laughs> huh? Pills. You know, the pills. Those are them. <laughs> Gee, I thought they'd be bigger, considering what they do. <laughs> hey, I think I'll get some pills, too. You? What for? Hey, that's not nice. I mean, if you start asking, they'll think it's like an epidemic. Well, why should you have them and not me? Look, Diane, I didn't get these pills just so I could tell everybody that I had them. I wanted them for a... Well, like a higher purpose. A religious experience? <laughs> Someday you'll understand, Diane. When you're a little older. Hey, Miss Fish, I want to be my chick, Miss Henrietta. Well, how do you do? Hiya. Is this him? Yeah, that's him. Loomis talks about you all the time. Oh, yeah? Something nice, I hope. 
Depending on how you look at it. Cute. Hey, Miss Fish, would you like to dance Henrietta? Uh, uh, maybe later. Yeah? Hi, Chuck Lester. Uh, is Jilly here? Of course she's here. It's her party. Come in. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm Mr. Fish. Swell. <laughs> you know Jilly Long? Long enough. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. But I'll tell you one thing. She is one terrific chick. What do you mean? Huh? You tell me. Well, what do you want to know? Is there something I... I should know? About what? Don't ask me. You brought up the subject. I don't even know what the subject is. Never mind. Hang up your coat. Thanks. You're very big for your age. Yeah, well, that's because I'm older. You're not 16? 18. 18? Yeah. Well, then how did you meet Jilly? Were you left back? No, I'm a senior. I'm on the football team. You see, Jilly's a cheerleader, and we met after one of the games. Oh, hi, you, Chuck. Hi, honey. <laughs> Mr. Fish, this is Chuck. Yeah, we met. Come on, Chuck, put me down. Now, how do you ask? Please. And? Oh, God. Oh, Mr. Fish, this is another friend of mine, Larry. Yeah, hello. Larry's on the basketball team. Hey, Jilly, this is for you. Come on, let's dance. So you're on a, on a basketball team, huh? Yep. Have you known Jilly Law? Yep. Oh, she's a very fine girl. I hope you understand. Are you too tall to talk? <laughs> Don't hit your head on anything. Uh, I'm not insured. Oh, Mr. Fish, this is Steve, a friend of Jilly's. Another one, huh? Yeah, I'm just taking the loan of him. <laughs> Hey, baby. Want to dance? Oh, Mike, I don't know how to do that. Come on, it's easy. Just let yourself go. That's it. You're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Denise, what are you doing? I'm dancing. Come on, Mr. Fish, give it a try. Are you crazy? Oh, Fish, it's easy. You just move your hips. I have no hips. <laughs> Sure, Miss Fish. Later on, I'll teach you to bump. What? The bump. <laughs> Something wrong, Fish? Oh, Bernice, did you see those boys? I think they're very nice. They're 18 years old. Why does she have to go out with such older boys? Well, because girls mature faster than boys. Besides... Jilly is, is more sophisticated than most boys her age. Bernice, one of the boys kissed her right in front of me. <laughs> Imagine what could happen when I'm not around. Don't worry. Even if something happens, nothing will happen. <laughs> Yeah, hello, Diane. Boy, I hope I can have a party like that for my 16th birthday. Yeah. And I want the same present you gave Jilly. Okay, we'll buy you a scarf, too. I don't mean the scarf, I mean the other thing. What other thing? Well, I ain't asking now because I don't want to ruin it for Jilly. But for my 16th birthday. 
What are you talking about? The pill. The pill? Which I think was very nice of you to let Julie have. I never knew you were so broad-minded. Jilly has the pill? Jilly has the pill? You mean you didn't know? Oh, boy. Bernice! I think New York City's about to have its first earthquake. Fish? There's still some birthday cake left. Would you like a piece? I'm not hungry. You could have it with a glass of milk. I'm not thirsty. You're mad. That's what I am. Fish, I'm Bernice, sorry if... Uh... I told you, no pill. And what did you do? You sneaked into the drugstore behind my back. We've been over this already. You know what you've done by giving Jilly the pill? You've let the genie out of the bottle. <laughs> they don't come in a bottle. They come in a plastic case. You want those pills out of here, Benice. Fish. Julie feels that I trust her, so she trusts herself. And I do trust her. She's a very responsible, intelligent, sensible young lady. She's 16 years old with three boyfriends and a pack of pills. Excuse me. Am I interrupting anything? Oh, no, no. Uh-uh, honey, we were just making small talk. I just wanted to thank you both so much for the great party. And for the scarf. And for being, well, just like a mother and father to me. <laughs> and here, Mrs. Fish, I want you to have these. Jilly, how come you're giving them back? Well, I don't think it's a good idea to have them in my drawer. You know, not when there's children in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you could, like, keep them in the medicine chest or something. I'll be happy to. Thanks for accepting me. Making me feel like a woman. I know how hard it must have been for you. Especially you, Mr. Fish. Well, you're a responsible, intelligent, sensible young lady. <laughs> right, Bernie? Look, uh, it ain't nice to cry on your 16th birthday, so, uh... Good night. Good night. Smart girl. Used her head. No question about it. <laughs> well, all right. So you were right, and I was wrong. Oh. You don't say that very often. I'm not wrong very often. <laughs> they didn't have this when we were young. No, but we had something uh, almost as good. What? Your father sitting at the top of the stairs. 